New England Patriots Tom Brady, Kansas City Chiefs Kareem Hunt, Denver Broncos Trevor Simeon, Arizona Cardinals Tyron Matthew and Miami Dolphins Cody Park each had the strength to come through during a key moment and contribute to wins during Week 2. Thanks to those strong performances, each player is up for Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of the Week honors. Here's a deeper look at the significance of those conquests Tom Brady, New England Patriots strong stats to consider, Brady bounced back from completing less than 45% of his passes in Week 1 and being shut out of the end zone to put up points in a hurry in Week 2, all three of Brady's touchdowns came in an explosive first quarter. He also hooked up with teammate Rob Gronkowski for the Titan end's 69th career touchdown. Power of the moment, the Patriots spent nine days hearing how there might be cracks in their foundation, and promptly put those concerns to bed in shredding the Saints' defense. Brady and the Patriots now roll into Week 3 primed for another outburst, this time at home, against the Texans. So much for being worried, vote for Brady for Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of Week 2 Kareem Hunt, Kansas City Chiefs strong stats to consider, Hunt broke out in a big way in Week 1, and proved he wasnt a fluke with his two touchdowns in Week 2, Hunt is the first player in NFL history to have three plus rushing touchdowns and two plus receiving touchdowns in his first two career games, and is the third player in NFL history to score a 50 plus yard scrimmage touchdown in each of his first two games. Power of the moment Hunt's second touchdown, a two-yard run, essentially put the game out of reach for the Eagles, who fought back but ultimately came up short on a last-ditch effort. Hunt's first score was an even bigger play, a 53-yard, third-quarter scamper that regained the lead for Kansas City in a close contest. Vote for Hunt for Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of Week 2 Trevor Simeon, Denver Broncos strong stats to consider, Simeon tied a career high with four touchdown passes, Simeon is 50 as a starter in September, posting a 100.2 passer rating, a 66.2 completion percentage and an 115 touchdown to interception ratio. Power of the moment Simeon sliced and diced early and often, leading a Broncos offense that looked much more effective in Week 2 than it did in Week 1. He can thank his rushing attack that churned up 178-yard C.J. Anderson led that group with 118 yards on 25 carries for helping balance an offense that also featured Simeon compelling passes to eight different receivers. Their WASNT so much a moment as there was a collective effort that allowed Denver to take an early lead that it rode to victory. Vote for Simeon for Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of Week 2 Tyron Matthew, Arizona Cardinals strong stats to consider. Matthew recorded his first interception of 2017 on a play that turned the game in favor of the Cardinals. Arizona's defense allowed 266 total yards and clamped down on the Colts in the fourth quarter, allowing its offense to tie the game and win it in overtime. Power of the moment on the first play of the overtime period, Matthew cut in front of a pass from Jack Harby Brissett, intercepting the attempt and immediately setting up the Cardinals in range for the game-winning field goal, which Phil Dawson nailed moments later. Vote for Matthew. For Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of Week 2 Cody Parkey, Miami Dolphins strong stats to consider, Parkey made all four of his field goal attempts on Sunday, accounting for 12 of Miami's 19 points, Parkey's last attempt, from 54 yards, served as the eventual game winner, spoiling the Chargers' debut in Los Angeles. Power of the moment Parkey lined up from 54 yards out in the final 75 seconds of the game in a one-point deficit staring him directly in the face. He didnt flinch, drilling a kick that snuck inside the left upright as it passed over the crossbar, good for a 12-point lead and eventual win after Los Angeles' young Hoku missed his last second attempt. Vote for Parkey for Castrol Edge Clutch Performer of Week 2.